Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I'm going to show you guys the pros and cons of prestiging in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and in past Call of Duties, I would only prestige if I was bored in a Call of Duty game. Uh, I would only get to like second prestige and the highest prestige I've ever hit in a Call of Duty game is like fourth. And the reason is because I would get bored of the game, but in Advanced Warfare, I'm not getting bored of the game. And right now, prestiging in this game makes other players think you are good. And that's because the game came out about two weeks ago, but here are the pros and cons of entering prestige mode for the first time obviously you get a prestige emblem that looks really cool and makes other players think you are good and you also get a new calling card depending on what prestige you are and uh, some actually look really really cool you also get some special gear for your exo and finally you guys probably already know you get an extra custom class slot so if you are going to prestige I think you should only do it if you are a hardcore Call of Duty fan or if you are bored of the game so now for the cons of entering prestige mode and advanced warfare uh, you are going to be placed into lobbies with players who are around your same skill level and prestige plays a huge factor in that so the higher prestige you are the better the players you will be matched with in lobbies also there's a lot of items that you lose uh, once you do prestige like challenges your guns your attachments your exo abilities the perks the launches everything but uh, you can select one gun that you wish to keep and once you prestige uh, you can keep all their attachments so that helps out a lot but there is this little glitch. I'm not sure Sludge ever patched it. But once you do prestige, you do lose your custom emblem. And uh, that really affected a lot of people. Because some emblems took like hours to make too. And then they have to go over and redo it again if they prestige. Uh, I hope Sludge Hammer did patch that. And if they uh, if they do, that would be really, really awesome. But uh, anyway, so if you're going to prestige, and you got to give it like... Uh, you got to give a lot of thought into it. And you are going to give a lot to prestiging. And you do gain a little. That's just my opinion. Uh, the only benefits of prestiging is that the you do get exclusive exo exo uh, camos and uh, exo suits. Uh, you get a custom uh, custom class unlock slot. Uh, you know, I'm not saying no prestige, but only do it if you're getting bored of the game and if you need something to do. I hope that it doesn't sound like I'm hating on the game because I'm not. I really do love this game. I really do, guys. And I've been having like so much fun with it. But uh, yeah, I'm not hating the game. I really do like Advanced Warfare a lot. So let me know what you guys think about prestiging in Advanced Warfare. If you have prestige in this game, tell me what prestige you are. Please tell me in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to be updated with the latest Call of Duty news, rumors, and events, warfare tips, and gameplay commentaries on this channel. Thank you for watching. Till next time, I'll catch you guys later. Ideas don't determine who's right. Power determines who's right. And I have the power. So I'm right.